you cool insects and arachnids out there. Welcome back. We are going to conclude insects first thing tonight and move on to dun 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 arachnids. Another one of my favorites, but you can tell this really is because we're going to do five nights of arachnids. I have five different arachnids to show you over the next five nights. But we've got to conclude insects so that we can be entomologists and discover the differences between insects and arachnids. So I figured the best way to do that is to start off with our song. So let's get ready to insect. Are you ready? Here we go. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And antenna and an exoskeleton, head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, and sometimes wings. <laughs> yes. So, I also figured, I promised you last night that we would do that book. So we're going to end in sex with our bug book. Now, Bug is a name you often hear when you talk about insects, and there are true bugs, which are a type of insects. But bugs is sometimes just another name people use for insects. But tonight we're going to read our last story about bugs or insects, and we're going to move on to arachnids. Are you ready? Grasshoppers hop from leaf to leaf. And now watch, here's that special part. Do you see him hop in? Look at him hop. Look, hop, hop, hop. Caterpillars munch on tasty leaves. Let's see if we see a munch. Munch, 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 munch. Yeah. Now, caterpillars are pretty cool. They also go through metamorphosis. Yeah, they do just like amphibians. They grow and munch on leaves. Munch, munch, munch. And they change into a chrysalis. Or a cocoon and they go through metamorphosis and turn into a butterfly yes butterflies dance through the air and I think we saw them look at those beautiful wings those beautiful butterflies that's what a caterpillar metamorphosed into they went through metamorphosis yeah and butterflies are very important to the earth they're very important to pollinate flowers <gasps> ladybugs glow in the dark. Ladybugs are another one of my favorites. Yeah, I love to watch them in the summertime and watch their abdomens glow bright. I love to try to catch them and observe them and release them again. Ants carry heavy loads. Wow, look at that ant. Look at how strong he must be to carry that acorn on his back. It's as big as him. Yeah. And ladybugs fly away home. Yay! So that concludes Insect. And I'm so glad that I was able to dress up as my Carolina Mantis tonight to conclude Insects. Because of course it's got one, two, three, four, five, six legs, two antenna, three body parts, and an exoskeleton. So, we are now going woo, to move on from insect woo, to arachnids. So, I think we should kind of jump in right away and get to see our cool arachnid visitor for tonight. This one's very popular when I bring him on programs. Let's see. His name is flower, often because of the colors that he has. That's kind of how he got his name. The children loved to help me give my arachnids name and flower was the name that they chose for him. So I'm going to bring him out so you can see him. Maybe we'll use him flower. Oh, so we had a cut there. My, my phone is running out of space from all these videos. So it's, it's cutting my videos short. So we're going to, we're going to stitch these two together. So welcome back again. And we're going to go right back to flower, our arachnid for tonight. 
flower is very popular, as I said, if you heard on my programs. And if you can see flowers, pretty colors. Let's see, I'm going to hold a flower like this. See? Flower has some kind of reds and oranges on her knees. Yeah. Flower is called a red kneed tarantula. A red kneed tarantula. And she's from Mexico. Yeah, right under us. Mexico. That country just below us. And flower... Flower's still growing. Flower's going to get bigger. Flower's probably going to get to be like almost the size of my palm. But she keeps growing. And as she grows, she sheds her skin. Yeah, she sheds her skin. And she pulls her new fresh skin out of her old skin. And she gets even brighter and even bigger. Yeah. So let's see some of the cool things that make arachnid special. Now we're going to remember because we're going to do a lot of comparing. Insects had how many legs? Six legs. Let's count how many flower has. And if it's tough on flower, I also have a little toy spider that we can count on. So let's see. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we turn her skin six. Seven, eight, eight legs. Wow, that's more than six. Let's see. I know it was tough on her and I didn't want to move her too much. So let's count together on this one. One, two, three, four, whoa, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. Oh my goodness. So arachnids. Spiders have eight legs. Yay! Eight legs. Oh my goodness. And let's find out one thing that made insects special was their body parts. How many did they have? Do you remember? Three body parts. Let's see how many a spider has, how many an arachnid has. Let's see if we can count. I count one. Hmm. That's her head. And then I only count Oh my, we keep cutting out. This is going to be an interesting video with a lot of sewing it back together. So we said she had one right here. It's kind of like her head and her thorax together as one. It's a really big, crazy word called a cephalothorax. Cephalothorax. So one, and then just one more. Two. Two. Her abdomen. She also has an abdomen. So one, two. And on this guy, you can see them. Ready? One. Two, two body parts. So arachnids only have two body parts. Oh my goodness. So eight legs and two body parts. Yeah. Now there was something really silly that makes arachnids special. And I don't know if she's going to let me show you. So she has eight legs, but she's got these two or her little legs hooks to help her stay safe. She's got these two little ones right here. See it on me? It kind of looks like a leg, but it's got a really cool name. It's called a pedipalp. Pedipalp. Yeah, pedipalp. Pedipalps help them to eat. They help them to stay safe if there's a bigger spider nearby. So arachnids have pedipalps. So you can see, um, I'm going to show you on this scorpion. Those are her pedipalps. So she's got eight legs. Look, four there and four there and two pedipalps. And look, this one has them too. They kind of, and this one looks like maybe like their antenna, but they're not. They're pedipalps. So <gasps> arachnids have eight legs. Arachnids have two body parts. And arachnids have two pedipalps. Eight legs, two body parts, and pedipalps. That makes arachnids special. Yay. Look at her. I told you she just loves to sit still. If you look, see her abdomen has a little bit of her hair missing to stay safe. Sometimes tarantulas, they'll flick their hairs and they're kind of itchy. So you wouldn't want to eat them and get all itchy. So that's one way they stay safe. This also tells me she might be ready to shed and grow bigger. She is pretty cool, right? So let's see, we had uh, eight legs, uh, a two body parts, uh, a two pedipalps. And the one other thing I love about spiders in particular is they also have eight eyes, if you can believe it. Eight eyes, yeah. But she does not see very well at all. No, no. In fact, her hairs act a little bit like the antenna and they help her to feel around. So, 
Hmm, I figured that we might sing a little song about this here arachnid. I'm kind of going to make it up on the fly, and then we can say, Good night, red knee tarantula. Are you ready? We can go, arachnids, arachnids, have eight legs, have eight legs. Arachnids, arachnids, have two body parts, two body parts, arachnids, arachnids. Have two pedipalps, two pedipalps, arachnids, arachnids, are really cool, are really cool. Yeah, kind of a silly song. I had a different tune I was kind of thinking of earlier, but just went the way it went. Maybe tomorrow it'll be a different tune altogether. I don't know. But man, flower has been doing really great, and the video has not been cutting out, so I'm I'm really excited. So one more time, we are going to together tonight say. Good night, flower. Good night, tarantula. Good night, arachnid. Good night, spider. Good night, all of you.